Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a book talk on the book I'll Meet You There by Heather Demetrios. And I was looking on my channel and I haven't really been doing a lot of book talks recently. I haven't done one since like May last year and I really want to start doing that more. And I do have a lot to say about I'll Meet You There. So I want to just jump right into it. This uh, beginning part is going to be spoiler free, just my thoughts on it and then we'll jump into a spoilery discussion later if you want to join in for that, so let's talk about it. I the most how the so I initially checked out I'll Meet You There at the library and I loved it so much so I immediately ordered it off Amazon after I finished reading it and now I have this copy. <laughs> I gave this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved it. It's just so, it's such a powerful and moving and beautiful story. Basically this book is about a girl named Skylar who just graduated from high school and she's living in this town in California called Creekview. In this town she's living in a trailer park with her mom who's a recovery alcoholic and her mom recently just got fired from Taco Bell. So it's one of those small towns where everyone knows everyone and like the best you can do for yourself is working at a Taco Bell and everybody lives in a trailer park and everybody kind of has problems with alcohol and drugs and I think that the author captured the essence of what it's like to live in a city like this really well but she also did it in a sensitive way so it's not like offensive to people who do live this way like she just really captured the essence of what it would be like really well, I think. Her friend Josh uh, comes back from the Marines. He's 19. She finds out that he lost his leg in the war. And so that kind of changes her perspective on things a little bit. Josh's character is really interesting. Obviously, like, it's heartbreaking and it's so sad to see him go through his, you know, his PTSD and the fact that he lost his leg. It's, like, crazy. Like, he's so young. He's only 19. Like, uh, sometimes Josh's character would make some really idiotic decisions that kind of, like, piss me off a little bit. And we'll go into that more in the spoilery discussion of it. But, yeah, so I have mixed feelings when it comes to Josh's character. But Skylar's character, I absolutely love her she's so smart she knows what she wants like she desperately wants to get out of this town like you can feel how badly she wants it and she has a full ride scholarship to san francisco um, at the end of the summer. This book is all about the summer before she's about to leave to college and things turn out a lot harder for her than she imagined they would be. Skylar is one of my new favorite female characters because she's just She's really smart and she knows how to like put people in their place when they're being like homophobic or racist or just like rude in general. Her dad had died in a car accident because he was really drunk and so she like vowed to herself that she's never gonna drink. Also, the side characters in this book are also really well developed and really well fleshed out. Skylar's mom is a really well developed character. Even though I hated her a lot of times in this book, she's just unbelievable with Skylar. Marge, who's the owner of the motel that Skylar works at. She kind of takes on this motherly role with Skylar and I just really loved her character too. Just all the characters in this book have their own story and it's really interesting. Um, I also love Skylar and Josh's relationship. I think that they were really like adorable in this book for the most part and I loved how he would always ask her how's the sky today and then she would say something like cloudy or rainy like depending on her mood like I just thought it was so cute like that's something that I'll always remember about this book overall I just really really love this book I highly recommend it so I'm gonna go into the spoilery discussion now so if you haven't read it click out and if you have read it then let's stick around and talk about some spoilers. So the first kind of like spoilery scene that I want to mention is the scene where Josh and Skylar are dancing to Hotel California like in the rain and it's just it was so cute and that's the first scene where I really started to like really like them together. Then I love all the scenes where Josh is talking about like his best friend who gave him a list of books to read and we find out that his like best friend has died so that's why I think he's so eager to like get through this list. I wanted to like cry during that scene where Skylar is just like eating those stale crackers because she doesn't have any other food. She doesn't know what to do. Like she only has like seven dollars left before her next paycheck or something and her mom has just like stopped caring. Her mom's not even eating anymore. She's just smoking and drinking. So she just starts eating the stale crackers and she's like trying not to cry because she's thinking about how sad her life is and stuff. And then and then Josh like offers to go get her McDonald's like and she's like so thrilled because she can finally eat like real food. It just feels so like bad for her that she has to be put in situations like that. But like I'm also grateful that Josh's character actually like helps her out, you know? That was another thing I really loved about this book, how 
like Josh and Skylar understand what it's like to be completely dirt poor. They go to like McDonald's and Dairy Queen and Subway. Also, I wanted to talk about that scene where Marge talks about her son with Josh and how he committed suicide because he couldn't handle PTSD from the war. And I just think that's so insanely sad. Like she told everyone that he died in the war because she was too like sad for him to tell people the truth about how he committed suicide. That's what makes her such a good mother figure though to Skylar and Josh because she understands firsthand what it's like to have a son dealing with PTSD. I also wanted to talk about that bonfire scene. Josh like invites her to the bonfire but then he gets like super weird and he doesn't even act like she's there and like I was getting really pissed off at him because if I was Skylar I would be so pissed too. Like I'd be like dude you invited me here and you're just gonna blow me off and act like I don't exist. Of course, there's that scene that really pissed me off when they're like about to have sex and then he starts freaking out and he leaves, which is fine, whatever, even though I was kind of like, what the heck? So then he leaves and then he goes to this other girl's house, like this girl that she kind of doesn't like in high school and he gets a blowjob from her. Like, what? I was so disgusted by his character in that moment because it's like you don't do that to somebody you know like you don't like you don't act like you're about to have sex with them and then leave and then go get a blowjob from some girl that she hates in high school like that's really fucked up i appreciate the fact that skylar is a strong enough female character that she can be like uh no that's not okay and she doesn't just like let him back in after that you know like she really puts her guard up and she's like no you fucked up i love that skylar had the balls to like always put josh in his place and tell him when he was in the wrong and the fact that she would always tell him to stop using his marine story as an excuse for her to feel sorry for him and like i think she has a lot of balls to be able to say something like that to a marine because I know that it wouldn't be easy, but he does deserve to hear it, you know? Of that one scene where he's just like, oh, it's because of my stupid missing leg. Like, he just randomly brings it up and then she's like, am I supposed to feel sorry for you? You know, I just love that she can actually talk like that to him. Like it makes her more real and it makes her more awesome to me as a female character that she can stand up for herself when it needs to be done. Oh my God, also when Josh defends her against Billy, that was one of my favorite Josh moments in this entire book. And that's what kind of made me like love him in the first place. When Billy, this like drunk asshole, moves into her mom's trailer because he's like taking advantage of her and he's like, the typical stupid drunk douchebag that just kind of takes advantage of people in need. Right when she's walking out of talking to her mom in the bedroom, she sees Josh go up to Billy and be like, if you ever touch her, I'll fuck you up. She's like, holy shit. And it was just so sweet to like see him defend her in that way. I think it's so ridiculous that her mom is just gonna like pick up and leave and move to Florida with Billy at the end of the summer. Like, you have to talk about these things with your daughter. Ugh, like her mom so frustrating sometimes and she's like mom I, I sent in applications with your name and I got you an interview and then her mom's like are you kidding me and her mom gets so mad that she kicks her out of the trailer for the whole night and Skylar has to go wander off and sleep in her car or Marge was nice enough to let her sleep in the motel oh, I was so mad like her mom is so inconsiderate hey, Skylar doesn't want to leave you dirt poor broke in this trailer when she goes off to college she's trying to do the right thing and you're just <sighs> that scene made me really sad at the end when Skylar had like finally had enough of all that was going on and so she starts drinking and then she gets behind the wheel and she goes and crashes the car into this pit and I'm just like oh my god no and so after she crashes into the pit she calls Josh and then Josh is like where are you and so oh I was so sad for Skylar in that moment because that's exactly what she wanted to avoid her whole life was becoming like her dad. Like she almost got herself killed. Overall, I really love this book. I kind of do think it ended a little bit abruptly. I would have liked at the end if he would have asked her like, how's the sky today? Like at the very end, because that was kind of their thing throughout the entire book. And if she would have said like sunny or, you know, just something cute to like end it. I also think that it would have been a lot better if there had been an epilogue at the end, a year into the future after she'd been at college for a year to see how things are going with Josh, just cause I know long distance relationships aren't as easy as they seem. And I would have liked to see more about how it's like with her mom living in Florida away from creek view and you know how her mom's doing with billy and if they're still together and i just would have liked an epilogue because i was so fascinated by these character stories that i think it ended really abruptly when she just went to college and then that's all we know i think that this is a beautiful story and it captures the essence of living in a really small shitty town very well but it also pays respect to the people who do like it's not offensive and i think that this book captures 
a marine really well who just lost his leg and like all the battles he goes through in this book like he has nightmares every single night and he's just completely traumatized still by this event and i think that the author captured it so well it's never offensive to people who have gone through these experiences so, like i'll say it again skylar is one of my new favorite female characters she's just really really awesome i think that's all i have to say about this book but i love it so much so thank you so much for watching this i hope to do more book talks like this in the future thank you for watching i'll make more videos soon and see you later